said hopefully you'll learn from my mistakes and won't make the same ones. Okay, I shorted myself a set of washers here for some reason. So we went from nine plates or from seven plates I'm sorry from seven plates to nine plates. And it's not that I'm looking for more production because I'm really happy with my 5.4 production. But uh, it doesn't hurt. I mean it doesn't hurt to, um, to see what it does. Um, I'm going to go rooting through my parts bag here see if I can't find some more of them little washers. Here we go. So, um, so yeah, go ahead and um, we'll see if this is going to work any better as far as adding any more HHO or is it going to add more heat? Uh, I don't think it should take any more heat. We don't know that. So... There we go. And last but not least, we'll put our other positive blade on here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to pull these washers back, these bolts back out, because you can see here this, this, these arms that I have on here, I actually threaded them, so they're so it's it's gives me a really good connection. Uh, I I noticed when I pulled this apart. Uh, this afternoon that this nut here had loosened up from here. I don't know that I never tightened it down when I put the cell together. If so, that's a good reason why I was pulling as much heat out of the cell as I was because I didn't have that good of a connection. Surprised my lugs didn't heat up prior to the meltdown that I had. So then we've got this. So I mean, I'm, I'm really uh, excited to uh, see how this works out. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my screws back out so I can thread this one in here. And I think what I might do is put a lock nut on that other side, which I didn't have before. So I think I'm going to just going to go ahead and put a jam nut on there, uh, just to assure myself of good fitting. So uh, the camera's pretty close to get pictures that you're getting and um, I need to take this up a little bit so I'll okay, let's see. Beauteous. Beauteous. Okay. Alright, now again I'm going to use actually I'm going to do away with flat washer. I don't think I need a flat washer. I'm going to get stainless steel. I'm trying to hopefully get that. There you go. That'll go on there. They use a, yeah. They don't make they don't make nylon lock washers that I'm aware of, so this will help hold it. What I'll do is I'll grind these off the sander before I go too far to make sure that they're not gonna poke through my my acrylic. Yeah, let's try and get these lined up as good as I can. Okay. You gotta be careful with these nylon bolts that you don't go cranking them down because they're gonna stretch. You crank it down too far, it's gonna stretch. You just wanna get it snug enough that that flat lock washer locks itself in. That's what its job is to lock in. Once it's locked in, that's it. You, you don't need to go crazy on it. Okay, again, remember that right there, these are all these rods are threading. You see, I got the jam nuts in there. Let them all locked in. I don't want this to move. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a nut on the other end of here with a lock washer. Uh, I'm not sure that I need a lock washer, but then I've got the small one on this side here. The single one is my negative leg, and the double one is my positive leg. For 
pretty happy with the way that cell looks. I think I got a little bit more of an even spacing than I had prior to the last one. Except there's one plate in here. I don't like the way it's set. Let's see if I can bring it over a little bit. That's more like it. I want those plates away. I don't want them touching anything. Uh, there, I felt it move. Okay, good. All right, now it's all lined up. I don't want all lined up. They're all good. Nothing's touching anywhere. That's important. Okay. Well, there you go. I'll go ahead and get me some uh, cutters, and I'll cut these off. And I'm going to go ahead and um, go ahead and uh, round it off the sander. Put a lock washer up on here. Get it all tightened down. Get my set. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get a lock washer up there. Now, see, I won't be able to get a lock washer on there, so I'm just going to have to depend on this nut locking it down. Uh, yeah. so I'm going to go ahead and move to that. Crank it down a little bit. Okay. Should be going nowhere. Okay. This is a uh, this is the cell. I'm same day, just a uh, different time. Uh, I want, I'm going to try and see if you can see what I did here. See how I, I kind of rounded off my cell a little bit, only because I'm uh, I'm going to put the shrink wrap on it, heat shrink. All, so all the edges that I could possibly find that would maybe tear through it, I rounded off, including the uh, the nuts, the nylon nuts on the other end. I rounded them off like a dome to make them soft. So um, here we go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the shrink wrap. This is three inch shrink wrap. I'm thinking I could have probably done away with two. This was a free sample, so um, my father would tell me, beggars can't be choosy, Bones. So uh, I'm just taking a paint stripper. I'm not taking a. Uh, I'm not going to do it with a, uh, a torch like a lot of guys do. Let's just go ahead and this is how they recommend to do it. I'm going to have to trim it later. I expected it to shrink in lengthwise as well, so uh, it didn't appear to shrink too much in lengthwise, so I'll trim it around the top of the cell when we're done here. I believe we could have gone uh, with inch and a half, or a two inch, or two and a half inch heat shrink, however. can't get it to shrink a little bit more. Alright. So that's it. We got her all wrapped up. I think she looks pretty good. See how it works out. Hopefully before the night's over I'll get it back in the cell. I'll have to make a new cap obviously because we fried the other one. But uh, we'll have it. We'll try it. Okay guys. Um, I'll get this on video for you and uh, upload it. Uh, as soon as I can. Uh, thanks for your time, guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.